Well, the year 2024 is kind of coming to a close now. It's crazy to say. Time goes by fast. And among so many things that happened this year, I really think that it was a huge year for emulation. A big reason for that is because of what happened in the Apple App Store. Obviously, the Apple App Store is extremely popular, and with it, it's got a lot of games, but it's never actually had any type of emulators on it. But that all changed in April of this year, 2024, when they made it so that you didn't have to jailbreak an iOS device to actually get on an emulator, and very quickly, I think it was actually the first to do it, uh, the Delta emulator, jumped onto the App Store, and I remember I actually made a video of it at the time, talking about it that very, very quickly, like I think within just a few days, it actually became the top app on the iOS App Store. Yeah, I'm talking up there like past Facebook, Reddit, Walmart, you know, just a uh, random, you know, very uh, big household name apps. Yeah, it's crazy how popular it got. Now, though there wasn't maybe just one reason why Apple did this, they faced just a lot of pressure around that time to allow apps like emulators and other apps they wouldn't typically allow on the App Store. And a big part of this was the Digital Markets Act, or DMA. This was passed in the European Union about a year and a half ago in May of 2023. And really, long, long story short, I think that was a very big part of it. So it was crazy to see Apple kind of uh, let loose, I guess, on some of their policies that for years, I mean decades even, they've just been very strict on. Okay, maybe not decades, <laughs> that might be a little dramatic. I was curious, I just looked it up, the App Store was launched in 2008, so 16 years ago. Yeah, I mean, you get the picture, 16 years of very strict rules, it was very interesting to see Apple lift some of these major policies. So, fast forward to today, the Delta app is still on the iOS App Store, it's still popping. People love it, obviously, because people love emulators, really as long as you're not like a, a game publisher. I mean, you really like emulators. I don't think anybody who's not a publisher just, you know, hates them. Now, what's crazy is I'm looking at the top free apps on the iOS app store right now. It shows the top 100 apps right now, and Delta is nowhere to be found. I, I, you know, the conspiracy theorist in me, I kind of doesn't believe that. Maybe there was some sort of manipulation from Apple there. I have absolutely no evidence, by the way, to uh, support that. But I don't know, like, it shows the top 100 apps. Uh, number 100 is the Chick-fil-A app. I really feel like the, the Delta app is probably more popular than the Chick-fil-A app. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I, people love their chicken sandwiches. But anyway, you know, there might be just more than one reason now why uh, the Apple App Store and Apple in general might not be very fond of Delta these days. Because not only was Delta the first big emulator to jump on the Apple App Store eight months ago, probably to the dismay of Apple, but something big this week actually just happened with the Delta emulator on the iOS app. App Store involving external purchases, so they are actually the first app on the iOS App Store, it would seem anyway, to do this. This was acknowledged in a Threads post by the developer AltStore.io, as well as the actual main developer Riley Testut. So yeah, as of just this week, Delta is now allowing for a sort of in-app subscription, uh, basically in general, in-app purchases through external means that are not the official iOS App Store but rather through Patreon, and it's very interesting because they're actually charging only a third of the price if you go through Patreon versus the Apple App Store. So it looks like these are like three different bundles that you can get for Delta that allows different features and like online play and access to a Discord server. The price per month of these three packages, if you go through the official iOS store, are $10, $15, and $30. But if you go through Patreon, it's only $3, $5, and $10. So yeah, it's just a third of the price. And they're definitely not hiding from the fact that they actually specifically do want people to go through Patreon and they don't want them to go through the iOS store. They really want people to avoid it. I, I'm sure Apple does not like this at all. So the website The Verge talked with Riley Testut and Riley said, quote, we really don't want people to use in-app purchases. We have been using Patreon for years and it allows us to do things Apple's IAP system cannot, such as issuing refunds and handling and customer support, making it much more convenient for creators like us. Whew, yeah, I, I don't think Apple likes that. Uh, you know, again, it's just really cool. I, I think Delta has been through a lot this year in a good way. They've really uh, accomplished quite a bit just when it comes to the iOS uh, App Store. Like I said, unless you are directly a, a publisher or somebody that works for Apple that directly is positively impacted by getting a bunch of money from uh, commission or, or whatever from in-app purchase, 
purchases. Unless you're one of those people, this is just really a great thing to hear, not just for the Delta emulator app, but for any other emulators as well, and on that note, any other app as well.